Hey guys, Corbett Lunchard from the Building Performance Workshop. I am in an attic right now, and it's hot. I'm in Los Angeles, uh, and they tend to build more temporary kind of structures. Uh, so what I am seeing right now in the attic, first of all, the reason I'm up here is because they had a little cup in the middle of the hallway in this little uh, fun entertainment center that we came to, and I said, what's going on there? So I whipped out my infrared camera, which I carry with me everywhere in my pocket. Uh, it's a FLIR one, and I took a look at the ceiling, and I couldn't really see anything, so I thought, clearly, it's California, it hasn't rained in the last week, it's an air conditioning problem. So, I came to the rooftop, and there's nothing going on on the rooftop. It's not a roof leak, obviously, because it hasn't rained, uh, and none of the ducts or the evaporator coil for the air conditioner are on the roof. So, now I'm inside the ceiling cavity through that hole right there. I climbed up, uh, and I'm in an attic, and you can see that first of all, there is no insulation on the floor at all. And secondly, the whole floor is dripping wet. And uh, it just happens to be coming out in one particular place downstairs, but ugh, totally gross. So there's no uh, insulation anywhere on the floor. There is definitely some air sealing opportunity. You can see big gaps everywhere. So even if we did have air, con uh, even if we did have insulation, it wouldn't necessarily be doing anything. All the ducts, are insulated except for where you see that hanging down. This is the supply plenum and this is dripping wet. Disgusting. So now solution temporary is duct tape smashed around this thing to make sure the insulation stays in contact with the uh, duct until they can get a professional out here. So this is very simple to diagnose. It mostly takes just getting up inside your building cavity. So I hope that this has taught you something about your own uh, situation. I'm Corbett Lunsford. Tune in next time.